Welcome back to Italia Demo for episode 16, the final episode. Buckle in, things are about to get crazy. With me, Mr. Sealy P. Welcome back to Italia Demo, ladies and gents. After the stream, episode 15.5, which you don't have to have watched. It, it, it was all behind the scenes stuff. Um, I, I didn't get, um, when I say behind the scenes stuff, it was all the things I needed to get done to carry on. And I didn't get done as much as I wanted to because I was streaming and I was because I'm kind of new to streaming I've done a few streams in the past but I was too busy just reading the chat and getting involved with the kind of you know the whole bill um, so I didn't get as much done as I was going to since then I've done an absolute load and I've teed up a, a ton of contracts that I know I want to try and get complete if I can if I can because I've got a few lined up, ready to go, and this potentially is the last episode. There might be one more if I don't get enough done, but I'm hoping with enough teed up, I can. So this is where we stand at the moment. <laughs> get ready for this, because this is going to be a mad dash to the finish. Frantic is not the word. Uh, I bought field 15 and 16 at the end of episode 15. Field 16 had oats in it. Certified organic no problem i've got potatoes in field 15 i bought that as well whilst i also have got potatoes growing in field 29 if i look at my growth obviously they're still growing but they're ready to harvest now contracts are going to be coming and going like absolute rockets on this one i've also got a contract yeah let's start with this one first so let me just i've uh, harvested this of the oats and now i'm just fertilizing cambridge rolling cultivating you know the whole the whole shebang and uh, I'm going to need that probably for later on uh, right hay bales I've got a couple of contracts I needed hay bales for so I've mowed tedded windrowed and baled I think about 23 bales there which I'm going to need there are four on here each bale is 5,000 litres because of the baler I'm using so that's 20,000 litres there I've got four over on the field where I had all my straw bales. They're all certified organic. Um, that's 20,000 litres. And hopefully, uh, I'm just about to unload this. We'll have enough here. Because the contract says, Dear Mr. CDP, I will shortly be moving... Shortly be moving my family from Chellington Valley to the village of Atcham in the UK. As an avid animal lover, my wife is hopeful that our son Paul will grow to love animals as she does and wishes to start him riding horses. We have managed to source two thoroughbred Italian mares which will be arriving as soon as we have sorted suitable housing for them. However, we will require feed and bedding for them until the season's seasonal cycle allows us to produce our own. We've reached out, reached out to you as a producer of Italian goods, hoping you can help us out and ease the horse's transition to English products. Would you be able to provide us with 20,000 litres of organic oats? Potentially. 20,000 litres of, of organic Italian straw baled, that's over there, and 20,000 litres of organic Italian hay. Now, it doesn't specify baled, but it is there. So with those three products... That will be that contract done. Um, that's for Adam Mended Balloon. So what I've got to do now is hop in here. We've got 15,000 litres. Because I've been doing about 15 different jobs, I can't remember what's in the harvester. I think it's more. It should take us over 20,000 litres. Now, I'm not too bothered about what things cost me in this episode because I've decided to get as many of the contracts complete as I can and I won't get them all done. I still won't get them all done. Um, I'd rather pay out a bit and get the contracts complete and keep a relationship with customers than say, oh, I can't do it because I can't afford it. Yeah, we go over 20,000 litres. So, Adam, Mended Balloon, 20,000 litres of organic oats, 20,000 litres of... Hey, let's cover that up. Harvest will need to go back. Um, and then what we'll do now is whiz over. It's auto. Mm, I could kind of semi auto load, I guess. Because I think I have got the. There's a word for it. Oh, the loader. What's the gap in the fence? Now, so that's one 
done. I mean, th these have just got to be delivered, but that's one done. Um, I need to get another 15 hay bales off that field because I have a contract. So, Adam, there you go. That's coming to you. <laughs> I'm going to be clicking backwards and forwards off of my screens here because, um, like I say, I've got loads going on here. Uh, what was this one under? This was under sheep because my sheep were lonely. Um, so this is from, who is this from? This is Pharmacilli P. Oh, I didn't, oh, Michael, I think. Michael. Um, so this says, while well, I'm going to collect these, a contract for Italia demo, um, Pharmacilli P. I am a sheep farmer in the hills of Italy and I've had a bad hay making year with it being so hot, fires, natural and arson. Blimey, that's not good. Uh, they've destroyed some of my winter feed and was wondering if you could do a trade. I recently heard from uh, local sheep farmers, you have a lone woolly companion, that would be Jeremy, and I have some of this year's ewe lambs which would make perfect friends for your Jeremy. My request is that you trade 15 of my, uh, is to trade 15 of my ewe lambs for 15 bales of hay. Does this work for you? If so, I can deliver the lambs straight to your pasture and the bales can be dropped off somewhere within the grounds of the biogas Italia. I'll arrange transport from there. Many thanks. What I will do now is just pop that on, uh, put that on top right in position. Oh, I was hoping I was far enough away. Okay, so uh, that's for Adam. So that's your 20,000 litres of hay, 20,000 litres of straw. There'll be 20,000 litres of oats, they're all coming to you. That's brilliant. So I'm gonna get those off and delivered. Um, but carrying on with that contract, turn that off. I was going to load those with the loader, but I got too close. Um, yeah, this is my first attempt at a subscriber contract. But anyway, yeah, so that's from Michael. So the hay bales are there. I need to collect the 15. The first seven sheep are already in the pen. They have been delivered by Michael. Thank you very much. What I need to do now is go and collect the other eight. That'll be the 15. So straight trade, when I've unloaded these, I will go and grab the 15 bales, take those to Biogas Italia, unload those, we'll go and grab the sheep, that'll be two contracts down within the first, what, five minutes? I'm going to grab a potato harvester at some point because we need to do that. I've already leased the Anderson poplar baler, we're going to do poplar bales because I've got a contract for that. And I've also got a contract for some silage, so I've leased some silage gear and a larger tractor. I'm about to lease another large tractor, so I tried to hook up all of the, the silage and gear I've got, and the tractor I was up there didn't like it at all. Half that field here, 18 and 19. 18, 19 or 17, 18? Where's all the traffic? Oh, I know. Huh. Just didn't realize something. Yeah, 18 and 19. Half that field has now been ploughed and prepped. So that's ploughed, fertilised. That did need liming, which I've done, as did all of that up there. Now, the other thing I need to do, moving forward, because what I might do in this episode as well, is jump forward a day, or maybe two days, once I've got those jobs done. I'm going to put soybean in here. Wheat in maybe in one of them. Barley is going to be all in that. But that, again, that's going to be a lot of work off screen to get it done. I just want to get the, I want to get the Let's Play tidied up and wrapped up with as many contracts as complete as I can before we end. I don't want to leave loads of them wide open. And if I can wrap up five, six, seven contracts in, I know it's a rush and it's a lot. And it's my fault. It's entirely my fault. Um, but I will. We'll get them done. Right, I'll see you in a minute when I've got the the 15 loaded. We'll take those, we'll drop those off. Uh, we'll get the oats delivered. And then we'll go and grab the other sheep. So that'll be that contract done. I'll then go up to the store. We'll grab the bits of equipment so we get the silage harvest underway. Then we'll move on to looking at getting the poplars baled. And then, what else from there? Oh, no, no, I'll have to check my contracts again and we'll go from there. But I will do them one at a time unless I can get to a point where I can get a worker running in which case I might get a worker going on one of them and then bounce onto another one and it's going to be mad multitasking but we will get there so uh, 
yeah, crazy stuff. Okay, so Michael, these are 15 bales. I'll leave, actually I'll just leave them up here if you want me. Come and get whoever's collecting them for you from there. Let's unload those. And down right there. Here's the curb. Job done. Uh, right, that's that done. So what we'll do now is go and grab the ewe lambs. We'll put those in. Oh, I could really do with having the... Hmm. What's I could do with having the loader over there because I'm going to need to feed them and water them as well. So I'm going to need to grab the water too. I'm glad I didn't go that way around. Get caught up with the train again. If you watch the stream, I did get a little bit tangled up, to, to say the least. <sighs> see, it's all, it's all those bits you don't normally see. Um, right. Lambs. Uh, potato harvester. I think I'm just going to lease one of the big ones, you know. It doesn't matter if it's 20 grand or whatever it's going to cost me. Yeah, we'll do that. Right, so Adam, this is your 20,000 litres of oats to go with the bales, which are already gone. Complete transparency. I'm not storing them away so I can use them again later. That would be a bit dicey, wouldn't it? Excellent stuff, right. Horses. I think they're going to... I can't collect them with this, but I will come with the tractor in a moment, but they should be... There they go, trailered up. We'll come and get them later. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, they're in there. Right, horses. <laughs> we'll get there. We will get there. I'm more concerned about the time it's going to take to do the silage harvest and I'm just trying to think, did I did I do poplar bales on Geiselsberg? Or did I do I might have done. I was just gonna say, it's kind of ironic that I've got a contract here. This is a black sheet mod in Joskin Betamax RDS six thousand. Uh, I think I need to there we go, raise it up. Um, yeah, I was going to say, on Marwell Manor, I did archery targets, and I think that's possibly where the next contract idea had come from. It would be very ironic to bookend my first modded map for Let's Play, which was Marwell Manor, and then finishing off my FS9 Let's Play, FS9, FS19 Let's Plays here on Italia Demo, also doing uh, Poplar Bells, which would be quite... Uh, I, I find it to be interesting I rank, but maybe you won't it's, <laughs> you're entitled to feel however you want to feel right, let's get them delivered now I just think the silage harvest might take a while I then need to clear that field plough the field, probably lime the field cultivate the field then all the seeding needs to be done Poplar bales need to be made. I've got to check that contract to see how many exactly I need to make uh, because I'll probably just do enough to fulfill the contract rather than bailing the, the entire field simply for the case of just getting the contracts complete uh, and then it will be turn around the fields, reseeding. I might do the seeding off screen, then, like I say, some soybean, bit of wheat. I've got a contract. I'm really puzzled by this and tell me if I'm correct or not. <laughs> um, I think it's for Andrew, and it's for 20,000 litres of wheat for his chickens. Now, I thought I did that contract way back at the start. Um, and Andrew resubmitted it to ask what, when, if I was going to be doing it before the end of the Let's Play. Um, I honestly thought I had. 
But I can always do some more. I just don't know if I'm going to have 20,000 litres though, that's the problem. Um, so we need to back to. Let's run up a bit. About. Good there. We are. But. Let's do the gate. It's open in or out? Of course it does. <gasps> I don't even want to look. Poor sheep. What kind of fault does something like that? What kind of fault has two thumbs and does something like that? This guy. <laughs> right, drop that down. Uh, let's unload those. So there we go. That's our 15 sheep from Michael. You've got your bales, Michael. We've got the sheep. Very happy all round. What I need to do is just move that. I'm not leaving it on the railway line because that would be, um, you know, typical of me, but I'm not going to do it. No, we need to. Oh. oh. Well, that sounds good. Got a bit of feed on the floor, but that's okay because I've got a broom here. Take more than one of these. There are 5,000 litres, and we have only got what 16 sheep in there. 15, 16 sheep. Just connect. Right, let's just double check they're okay. Sheep. Yep, water is what they need. Can I hook up to the water container with this? Did I do that earlier on or not? Can't honestly remember. If not, we've got the tractor there. I can do it with that. Top up the water, clean the feed area, and now Jeremy's not lonely. Am I going to be bringing Jeremy with me to FS22? That's not going to work. Um, I think there's a brown sheep option. If there is, of course Jeremy's going to be coming to FS22 with us. Couldn't possibly leave him behind. Anyway, right, I'll get the water sorted out. I'll set up at the store. Let's get on with the next job. So there you go. All done, Michael. I hope you're happy with that. I certainly am. Oh, I've left that really bad place. Okay. Horses are what horses. Sheep are watered. <laughs> I'm up at the store. As you can see, I leased a Deutzfahr. That's 300 and something horsepower. Because I've got the Anderson Bio Baylor WB55. That requires 200 horsepower. Now all of my tractors are just under 200 horsepower and I didn't know if it'd work on there. I can always give it a try. So I've got the Deutzfahr for doing that, but I bought up the Fiat. I've leased a second one of the um, TFSIM semi-trailers because I've got one already. A Flegel Dolly and the Pertinger Mex 5. I think it's Mex 5. It's the standard in-game one. Um, so that will do... Oh, there you go, look. Yeah, Max 5. So that should do the silage in. But as soon as I hooked down the front of the Fiat, the whole thing tipped forward. And I thought, well, that's all right. Once I've hooked on the, the dolly and the trailer, hooked those up and it still tipped forward. It didn't like it at all. So I might have to rethink this. So I'm going to grab the Deutz file. Like I said, this is a kind of no expense spared thing now. I'm now also considering... I don't even know if I'm going to get the potatoes done. So... Yeah, I don't... Mm, don't know. I'm just very conscious. I mean, even if I suppose maybe over the weekend, if I, if this isn't the last episode, if I did one more, I know um, early access to FS22 should be from tomorrow, so there should be videos and stuff up. But just so I can say I finished this off, I know probably most people aren't, won't watch it unless you're a die-hard fan and you've been really following along and you want to see sort of the contracts end on here, then you might do. I just. Just very conscious of the fact I don't think I'm going to get it all in into one episode. But then I'm also very conscious of the fact as soon as I get my hands on the FS22, I'm not going to sleep for probably a week. <laughs> so, <laughs> not quite sure when I would come back on here. Oh, so frustrating. Like I said, it's my own fault. I, I should have put in another at least one or two Italian demo episodes in the last couple of weeks with various different things. I had it all set up to stream, then I had problems with streaming, I couldn't get it to work. 
um, the house wasn't at a point where it was quiet enough or I could actually stream. When I then finally got around to doing it, it didn't work, so I did the following day, because every day that ticked by was a day less I have before FS22 releases, and it's that kind of, hmm, you know. Anyway, the contract we're about to do is for Farmer Metcalf. I kind of mentioned it a while back when we were doing the corn harvest on field 18 and 19. We needed to get enough corn for Feld Corp, which we did, and I said whatever's left we can silage harvest, because, we're not on the train are we? Okay, oh, wait a second, I bet it's parked just outside uh, outside the boundary. Um, I'm a dairy farmer from Lancashire and I've recently started to milk more cows, 100 up to 150. This means I've had to put all my land down to grass for grazing and silage. Would you be interested in growing uh, more acres of maize for extra silage to feed? Payment would be the going rate for silage at the time of harvest with an extra 10% for carting to a local yard where I can arrange lorries to collect. Thank you for considering my offer. Well, we'll be able to, we've grown the corn. We are going to do the silage harvesting of it and we will put it in the silage camp here. Um, and then from there it'll be whatever farm that calf wants to do. I, I don't think we'll get to a point where we can actually unload it. I'm going to be that guy, that guy that goes along and sees what all the hassle's all about. That's odd. Where's the train? Normally it's kind of just for this to be operating. Oh, is it just up there? Through the trees? Oh yeah, that's annoying. Okay. It didn't take long. So the plan for doing this is I can I can leave a worker. This trailer will hold 45,000 litres, and then what I should, providing it, it sprays into the back, it should do. Um, and then because I've got my um, semi, I've got my lorry with another one of these trailers, I should just be able to switch the trailers in and out, but leave the worker working. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Oops. Crash cam, crash cam, crash counter, crash belt. So, uh, on the front, let's pipe out. That's on the back. Cover open. Hope it reaches with a dolly. I think it's registering it's there. That's a good sign. So back to the front. Turn it on. Drop it down. No. You are kidding me. No, it's not recognising the trailer. That's oh, blown out of the water. How frustrating is that? I just have to bite the bullet and get a bigger trailer, aren't I? It needs to be done. So let's see what we've got available. How big do I can get away with? It's an equivalent size, isn't it? The Deutz file shouldn't have a problem with it. Hopefully it throws it into that. I don't know why it's not. You know what? You have to do that. It does mean I can't swap the trailers over though. Right, let's leave that there. Swap these over. I thought I'd do something different by using the Max 5, but now when I said about, yeah, there you go, about money being no object, I wish I'd have just leased a forage harvester now to get it done. I just thought, because I'd be using smaller tractors and that kind of thing, and as soon as I hooked up to the smaller tractor, the weight was just too much in the front. But realistically I would have been better off because this is going to take so long to nice.
Well, I think the best thing I can do with this is just leave it going with the worker. I may, I may off camera bite the bullet and get a forage harvester just to help. I'll do this little bit here and then we'll switch. And I'll grab the Fiat and see if we can't get the Fiat to operate the bio baler. We'll get over and get the bio baling contract done. We can always come back to this. And then the other thing I can do is then get at least the other fields I can get underway with seeding. But while this just chugs away, so this can be one that kind of carries on in the background, so to speak. Every time I get a full load, I'll take it over. That's I think that's the best way of doing it. The tractor's probably a little bit too big for that. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of driving on the crop, aren't I? That's not helpful. But just, I mean, again, there are plenty of mods available for doing this job. It does prove the point as well that you don't need a forage harvester to do this kind of work, to do silage harvesting. You don't need a forage harvester, you can use these. There, there are pull-along ones, there are ones that mount on the front. There's all sorts of options. Right, that's that bit done. So what I'm doing now is I'll get a worker on that. And let's go and grab the bio baler, get the bio baling done. I'll find the contract for that. We can, we can read that one out. And then uh, once that bit's done, I'll get the seeding done for the other fields. And then that can chug away overnight. Then we can finish those ones off, hopefully. Is this going to go correctly onto the line, or have I come too far over? I think we're going to be alright. Okay, right. Let's get working on that. Now, talking to workers. Okay, <laughs> so that's Farm Metcalf. I've got a contract here that was submitted. Um, and this is from Scoff Corp. This is rec regarding them offering workers, actually. Um, Gogol Pop is my kind of worker foreman. Worker. Says you may have heard in the news recently about pending court case involving some slanderous accusations regarding our use of workers in our lo local farm. As a result, we are unfortunately unable to provide our workers with contract work and therefore income. Until these legal disputes are put to rest, coincidentally, and by pure accident, a number of our senior management at Scoff Corp just happened to have taken annual leave in Italy. Our defence attorney assures us this will in no way at all look like they're fleeing the country to escape the pending trial and will be seen simply as them needing a break to sunnier climates. Since Scoff Corp only operates within the UK, However, it appears our senior management are having a few issues with work visas and risk being deported back to the UK, something we wish to avoid at all costs. We saw recently that you have taken over some land in Italy and wanted to reach out to see if, you can, if we can come to a mutually agreeable arrangement. You run a fairly large farm and have no permanent staff. We have a number of workers who we cannot pay for legal reasons and yet more staff who are, it says, escaping justice, which has been crossed out, taking vacations near your farms. Um, if you would be willing to temporary, temporarily employ three of our workers uh, for three small to medium sized contracts, it would help us out a great deal as well as assisting yourself with local business. While our assets are currently frozen, we cannot pay you for taking uh, this on. We can offer you free parts and labour to build any buildings. Please just let us know um, as soon as possible. Sincerely, Scoffer, CEO Scoff Corp, innocent until proven proven guilty so uh yeah workers the few workers we're going to be using are going to be from scoff corp i did say i would try and get that in if i could so i hope that was what you were hoping for um now i think this last well this last one it's not the last one this is for justin i think it is uh right let's go and grab the next bit and see if we can get that working. So, this contract is, I'm, I've got the, I say, the Anderson WB55 bio baler. This is from the Office of Archery Australia. Uh, Mr. P, I'm in need of your service. If possible, we are holding an archery meeting at the end of. Now, I did say October originally, but obviously everything is delayed globally, it would appear, uh, due to recent, <laughs> the recent predicament the world finds itself in, which is not great. Um, so, um, unfortunately it's been pushed back, so that's why I'm doing it now. Um, anyway, in Australia, due to bad weather, our poplar harvest um, 
was not at the yield that was expected. We are wondering if it would be possible if you could have 30 poplar bales ready for shipment uh, to be shipped directly to Sydney, Australia, ready for our event. We'll be happy to pay market value plus 10% for your service. Also, if there's any equipment you may need to lease for this job, we're happy to cover the cost after the completion of this contract. Hope to hear from you soon. Director of Sports of Archery Australia, Justin. Um, so, that's <laughs> 30 poplar bells is what we're aiming for. Just wonder if I can run down the side here first. I'm just trying to do it kind of in where you can see, otherwise I'm going to be hidden by the actual poplar itself. What we should do is, uh, is it that one? There we go. I'll do it that way. If I swing the bale out that direction. If I come from that side, like that, turn it on, drop it down. So again with this, I can't remember how much it yields, you know, and how many bales this makes. I honestly cannot for the life of me remember. Can we just come out a bit further? That way, I think, a bit further out. Too far in. There we go. Is that better? Watch out for those trees. It's going to be tight. So wood chip bales are a lot less. I thought they were still 4,000 litres. You know what? My memory for doing this has been such a long time since I did poplar bales. Can I get past that branch? We're going to hit our 30 really quickly, aren't we? That's cool, though. There we go. Poplar bales. I assume we're still going to do poplar baling. I think the Anson stuff is still available um, on 22. Like I say, not, I've done a huge amount of it. I think the problem was initially when all this came out, there weren't many places or many maps that would take them initially. And I think a lot of people had to change things to get the bales to be able to be sold and that kind of thing. I don't even know if, don't know if my auto load trader will take them. That's another good point. So what we'll do is we'll have to bounce between this and... Uh, Attention. This and the silage in. Once the 30 bales are done, I'll then get on with seeding while the silage harvesting's going. We'll have to run that through the night. I haven't exercised any of the horses today either. What time is it? 20 to 3. Oh. I think what I'm going to do is go around the tree and then we'll come at this. Cover this other way around, I think. Oh, so, on, on adding a man here, we've been doing poplars, I did say, it, we've been doing it slightly differently. Different harvesting techniques, different product at the end of the day that comes out of it, but the same crop. Doing the second row is always easier. I don't have to just run around the whole outside of the field actually and then... I haven't got to keep swinging the baler side... I mean, it doesn't matter I suppose whether I swing the baler side to side. That's the whole point of it. I can go up the field one way, down the field the other and still have it offset. change my, if, if the load in, my bale loading trailer auto load trailer won't pick them up I might have to change it so it's not an auto load you can switch it out then just use it as a regular trailer maybe 
just take it to the workshop, my little toolbox, and we'll fix it. Oh, we'll have a think. I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out. So, as you can imagine, <laughs> as with everything I've been doing of late, this is going to take a while. Should be right with 30 bales, I think. I don't think we're at our limit. If we are, I'll just have to sell a few straw bales or something. I don't think I've said the other thing's full yet. I haven't, I haven't noticed it, but I might have missed it while I was talking. I'll check it in a minute. Right, I'll see in a little while when we've got our 30 or near it to 30 or part with us. Some, when something happens next that's interesting, that's when you'll see me again. Okay, I think I've done two, how many loads have blah, blah, blah. Four loads of chaff have gone to the biogas plant, they're in the bunker silo. As far as wood chip, or yeah, wood chip bales go, poplar bales, I had done in this session previously, what did I say it was, 22, 23, something like that, bales? I needed 30 on here, so I kept going till the total said 60. So I should have enough bales. Uh, actually, I haven't even checked to see, like I say, whether or not, because these are 2,000 litre bales. I think the size, because I've got a mixture over there of 7,500s, 5,000s, 4,000s, the capacity shouldn't matter. It's whether or not it just, whether it will take them on. So um, I haven't got it on auto load at the moment. I'm just going to put them on. So this is what I've done before, isn't it? The sort of manual, auto, bit of both. I need to do more than one bat at a time, though, but I just want to... Let's see, shall we? Just put them like that, to start off with. Let's grab a couple more. I'll load all those up, and they'll be heading off to Justin in Australia. And then once the 30 are loads and they're heading off, I need to get onto my fills and start seeding before I start, well, before I lose the light. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do about exercising the horses, because I need to do that as well. <laughs> they're just on enough hours in the day. The only reason I want to get onto other crops, like I say, is because I've got a contract for Feldcorp. And I've got the corn... I haven't got the soybean or the barley and I need to do straw bales but using organic barley. That will be the whole contract complete. So I need the crops to grow, I need to harvest them, get the amounts I need and then quickly do bales. Let's say, let's say quickly do bales. I'm still reckoning I'm going to be looking at another three hours work maybe off camera. I'm just very conscious of the time and... That weird thing, three years of playing the game, and it all comes down to the last 24 hours. <laughs> and I'm now thinking, can I get this last episode completed? Can I get it done? This episode will have taken probably more hours. And, I mean, some of my Stone Valley ones when I did massive harvests were... Uh, oh yeah, actually, to be fair, when I did that, what harvest did I do? I was just, so many hours, wasn't it? Mine's gone blank now, but... Anyway, so as you can see, I'll manually load, and then all I do is, once they're manually loaded, 
just to make sure everything's nice and tidy, I just hit auto load and then it just tidies them all up for me. Unless, of course, it's already tidy anyway, and then you don't really have to worry too much. I could probably just take another one on top of these, actually. Yeah, it's not been particularly neat, but I could just pick that to go to there. Do that. You get the picture, there's going to be lots of, uh, that's the problem is, there's going to be lots of jump cuts on this one, whereas normally probably the jobs I've done already would be one episode, you know. We've already done two contracts complete, this is the third and we're working on the fourth. We're aiming for completing the fifth. But that's going to take a bit of work. I do have a contract for barley up 500,000 litres and I've got some huge contracts but I just, there's no way, you know, without having another month on it. <laughs> like I said, I'll never get them all done but do the best you can. Well, they've got a bit of weight to them, considering they're only 2,000 litre bales each, I'm carrying 6,000 litres. I can feel that back end lifting. Are these going to roll? That's the question. I hope not. Because they're uh, popular, they should be. <laughs> In the real world, they look quite rough, don't they? So they shouldn't roll. But... We all know this isn't the real world. Ooh. Surprised myself with that. Uh, where's my next load? Okay. Okay, let's chuck something else into the mix, shall we? I've got a worker putting soybean into the fields behind us. I've got my fields here. I took oats off the other one. This one's got potatoes in. I've got two potato contracts. Uh, my other potato field that I planted has got weeds in it. So what I'm going to do, I said no expense spared to get these contracts complete. So what I'm going to do is harvest this one. One of the contracts is for 10,000 litres, and the other was for, I think it was like 10 acres or something. Was it 10 acres? Something like that. Um, so I'm going to get this going. Once I can get a worker going on this, then I can get the rest of the um, poplar bales loaded onto the trailer. I'm trying to get as many jobs on the go as I can. I needed that to be going the other way so I don't hit any trees. I might have to turn around. I think I've got to turn around, actually. You know what? So we should easily get 10,000 litres and then what I'll hopefully do is get the weeds sorted out in the other field and then maybe by the morning that'll be ready to go. I don't know, maybe later like, on it will. And we might get enough off this actually. If we do, that's fantastic. I'll come over a few, over a few bits. This morning. Yeah, I mean, we'll get 10,000 litres in absolutely no time whatsoever. So the rest of the contract will be completed. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read. I'm going to read them now because I, otherwise, I'm going to forget what they were. <laughs> because I'm doing that. What's this going to be? Contract? Oh, I know. I've lost count. Um, told you. Dash the finish. Right. So, uh, so Falconator, <laughs> Mr. Till. I hope this email finds you in good faith. My name is Master Sergeant Faulkner. I'm a liaison for the services unit of Aviano Air Base. Uh, recently we've run into an issue with getting members of the base fed due to a miscommunication. The Pentagon has given approval for our leadership of the base to reach out to farmers across Italy. The US government has given us approval to pay farmers three times the highest going rate uh, for local, locally priced potatoes. Uh, they've even offered to cover initial leasing fees for equipment required or plant and harvest potatoes. Already done that. Initially we need about 10,000 litres from the first harvest to be able to provide for the members. We will still continue to pay the agreed upon rate for any additional deliveries. Local train yards in your area are also being contracted out, so all you need to do is deliver the potatoes to your local train yard. They will deliver them to the proper area. If you find you are too covered at the moment to accept this contract, don't worry. We've sent the email out to a massive farmer throughout Italy. Concrete the concrete. The contract also has no closing date, so we'll continue to accept potatoes when and as often as you'd like to provide them. US government thanks you for your time and commitment to ensuring our troops are fed. Please feel free to reach back to me. Yeah, so that's 
the first one, 10,000 litres, and then the other one, I'm pretty sure, was... Uh, can I get 10 acres of taters, potatoes, at your honest convenience? Um, is the uh, sale price of plus 10% acceptable for payment? And that's for Anthony. There was no other, no other details with that one. So I think 10,000 litres, and then the rest will go to Anthony. So that would be two potato contracts knocked off as well. So, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Am I stressed? Yes, but it's a stress of my own making. I mean, realistically, I could have just sort of said, you know what, doesn't matter if I don't finish Tally Demo, I move on to FS22, but I know myself from watching Let's Plays, if it ends abruptly and, and there's no real kind of I've, end, I've always wanted to end, and I had a few contracts that were just hanging open still. It needed to be sorted, so that's what I thought we'd do. You know how it is. So yeah, I'll get this work going as well. That's seeding. Chaff is going for Farmer Metcalf. Like I said, that's all just going over to the silage clamp. He asked for the maize to be done, and we've done the maize. We are harvesting the maize. We are silaging the maize. That's going to go into the clamp to be compacted and turned into silage. The delivery side of that will have to be taken care of by whoever takes over next, or the biogas plant will probably sort that out for him. But, um, gee, what should we do this turn now? <sighs> right. <laughs> You're getting to see a lot of vehicles and a lot of different jobs being done as well, aren't you? Which is all rather cool. I'm not quite sure how the seedling's going over there, but... Anyway. Okay. Next. So, Master Sergeant Faulkner, first 10,000 litres of potatoes in here. I'm heading off to the train station to get those shipped. Justin, poplar bales, we have got 18 there, 17 there. I know you wanted 30, there's 35. Um, they're going to be heading off, well, heading off to Australia. Hope they are satisfactory archery targets for what you need. I've got a load more poplar left there. Um, that worked brilliantly. And only 2,000 litres of bale, doesn't take too long to do them anyway. So, uh, right, that's another two. Ticked off. <laughs> Anthony, your potatoes, the rest of the field is going to be yours. I've got horses to exercise. I will, I will see you in the morning now. I've got planting, seeding, and a load of work to do. The rest of that field I'll finish um, chaffing. That'll go into the bunker silo. So in the morning, I'll show you the bunker silo. And then um, Farmer Metcalf will know how much got coming his way uh, and then hopefully if stuff's ready to harvest we'll then be able to get the barley done the soybean done and the barley straw bales so we can do Feldkorps contracts and that'll be it I promise I promise for this episode I know I drove all the way up here from that field um, but I thought I'd sort of, like I say two birds one stone I'll take these off and get them delivered so they can make their way to the troops that need them. Manic. Just another manic Thursday.
Okay, a day or so has gone by. You've just seen the soybean harvest being done. I realise this, this episode has been absolutely crazy and it's jumped a lot. I said right from the start I wanted to get as many contracts done as possible. These are the final two, hopefully. So this will be a quick cut. Harvesting is being done in this field of barley. As you can see, I've got 25,000 litres of soybean in here. Um, we've got bales on the go here as well because I'm going to complete the last two contracts before we finish. So, on the way. Um, the Feldcorp contract I've been talking about for quite a while. Um, and I don't know if I ever read it out. Was... We'll wait till we get the thing I'll try and do. I'm um, glad to see things are progressing well for you since um, your unexpectedly expeditious to departure from Raspet for a few months prior. Following our uh, your recent vlogs, as I have, I've identified another potential business opportunity for us in the near future. As you may remember, I've been working in Poland to help a family uh, farm out of debt and back in onto its feet. As part of that process, in the coming year, we're planning to diversify their portfolio. After some research, it seems there's good money in locally produced, organically reared pork products. So with that in mind, we're looking at setting up a small seasonal pig farm um, and that is where you come in, my friend. In order to kickstart this venture, Feld Corp is looking to obtain some organ organically grown crops on uh, our behalf to be used as seasonal pig food and for making the associated and baked goods. What we're looking to obtain for you is as follows. 42,000 litres of organic corn, 21,000 litres of organic barley, 21,000 litres of organic soybean and 18 organic barley straw bales. And to say square, I've got a round baler, so unfortunately it's not going to be round, sorry, filled in. So, as you've already seen on previous episodes, our corn, we did, that was on the field that we're harvesting barley on now, that's in storage, that's good to go. The soybean is here, off the field, organic, that's good to go, they're going to put that in storage, this is all going to be shipped. The barley is being harvested as we speak, we should have 21,000 litres of that, and I'm baling the straw from the barley, there should be 18 bales. That's the plan. So all of the stuff that you've, re you've requested, Fel uh, Felton, I am going to be doing. I wanted to make sure it got done. That was one of the ones I wanted to get done as well. Well, there's loads of other stuff. Um, it does say about what uh, digestate. We talked about that in previous um, episodes, but realistically, it was more about making sure I get um, all of this delivered. Now, the other thing as well was for... I just want to double check this as well. Anthony was the second potato contract. What I did was install the second silo here at the farm. At least I think I did, because we've got it in storage. So if we go across till we get to our potatoes, there's 100,000 litres of potatoes for Anthony. Um, we did the stuff for um, Master Sergeant Faulkner. That went 10,000 litres and then uh, Anthony wanted 10 acres of potatoes at my earliest convenience. So there's 100,000 litres of potatoes they are going to be winging their way to you as soon as possible Anthony. So what I'm going to do now is get back over there I'm going to get the rest of this barley or enough to get the 21,000 litres that are required and I'm going to bale the 18 bales. I've got a load of bales there but I can't guarantee they're all organic ones but at least the ones coming off there and they are definitely barley because I'm harvesting barley as we speak and then Felden, that will be your contract complete and once that's done we will be at the end of this episode and at the end of the Italia demo let's play um, like I said I realised this has been a long time coming I wanted to make sure I finished it off it has been frantic, it has been mad apologies if you've been trying to keep up um, I just, like I said, I know what it's like when you get to an, the end of an episode, a series and if there's an episode missing or it doesn't finish, it doesn't feel complete it's frustrating. I, I totally get that. So I wanted to make sure this was done. Um, I realise everyone is into the FS22 stuff now, but at least this one will be finished. So we've got a load coming here. Half over there is full. I'm going to get the bales done and we'll end. I'll see you in a minute. As if by magic, there we have it. The field is continuing to be harvested. The baling is continuing to be done. That said, the 18... Barley straw bales, Feld Corp, says a... No, oh, it's because I unloaded them onto the thing, didn't I? There are 18 on there. Trust me. Uh, and then it was 21,000 litres of barley, organic barley, to go with the other crop types. I think I filled this. Yeah, 45,000 litres. This was an ongoing contract anyway. 
So this is going to be heading off. Uh, Big Daddy, the horses are at 85%. Um, once we hit 100%, they will be will do the sale and the money will be sent to the various different places it needs to go. But we are done. I did as many contracts as I possibly could. It has been crazy. It has been bonkers. I have now finished on Italia demo. If I didn't get to a contract, I apologise. I always said right from the, the outset there was no way I could do all of them. I would do as many as I could. But like I said, I definitely wanted to finish up and get this done. So Feld Corp, I'm going to be taking this off to be dispatched. I will be coming back. And anyone else is in this episode whose crops I have either shown being delivered or I've said they're in storage and they're going to be delivered, they will be shipped off as soon as possible. I've thoroughly enjoyed this one. It's a fantastic map and I really do hope it comes to a 22. If you have enjoyed these, this episode, and indeed this series, then please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.